Welcome to DWS Market Outlook. We all prefer to hear good news. For financial markets, however, good news could start to turn into bad news. For months, financial markets had largely dismissed the inflation issue. Energy prices have eased, inflation rates have retreated from last year's highs, and the weakening economy was expected to take care of the rest. This seemed to pave the way for an end to the rate hike cycle, followed by the first rate cuts. However, this benign picture for markets is increasingly put into question. Despite all the policy rate hikes by central banks and other adverse factors, the economy seems to remain resilient. Moreover, past rate hike cycles have usually triggered tensions in financial markets and the broader economy, either because some bubble has burst or because a crisis has broken out. The rise in risk premiums triggered by such an event has added to central banks' efforts to dampen economic activity. In the current cycle, however, we have not seen much of that. At first look, the absence of tensions or even a crisis sounds positive. Just as positive seems the fact that the economy is holding up well. Labor markets are in good shape and the US unemployment rate has reached its lowest level since the late 1960s. For markets, however, these good news could increasingly turn into bad news. This is because the stability in the economy and the markets means that the inflation risks have not yet disappeared, which means that central banks might have to push interest rates even higher. Hence, market expectations for policy rates have increased recently. In this respect, things could well get a bit bumpier for markets. Long-term oriented investors, however, should not be distracted by short-term volatility. After all, higher interest rates and yields, as well as lower prices, increase the long-term attractiveness of investments. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and goodbye.